one team, four reasons to walk. I'm walking for my mother, for my daughter, for my sisters, for my friends. Already friends brought closer in the fight against breast cancer. And now it's like we're all just like sisters. Together, Mandy, Erin, Bobby Joe, and Samantha make up Team Holy Guacamoles in their training to take strides against breast cancer by walking in the Avon Walk for Breast Cancer in Boston this May. It's going to be definitely going to be very, very hard, but I have faith in myself and everybody here. This team started with Mandy Sawyer. I am walking because one in eight women will get breast cancer in their life, and I have five sisters and two children, so there's eight. It's a road she's been down before. Last year, she did the Avon Walk in Boston. I can't even tell you. It was life-changing. It really was. I mean, there was, you know, 2,500 people doing it along with you, and everybody's just so supportive and walking together. Mandy's sister Erin was cheering her on from the finish line. I went to the finish line last year when my sister finished the 39-mile walk, and I was so inspired by her and everyone, the whole atmosphere all around that I wanted to take part this year. So the sisters asked their cousin Bobby Joe to join. Their fourth member, their cousin Samantha, has a close connection to breast cancer. Her mother is a six-year survivor. I think every day she's worried that the cancer couldn't come back. And I worry every day. What if it skips a generation and my daughter gets it? I know I want to walk so that when my daughter is old enough to worry about it, she won't have to. They already have the will to walk. Now it's a matter of training and fundraising. Thank you. Selling baked goods, t-shirts, organizing dinners and yard sales. The walk cost $1,800 per person. It's hard, you know, times are tough for a lot of people, but even five, ten dollars adds up from, from time to time from different people. Oh, that's a good idea. Small steps to raise money and build up the stamina. They're taking walks around Bangor before the big one in Boston. I know. How come I'm always in the front? Walking in the oh. rain, sleet, or snow. Yeah, don't fall. Mandy assures them a life-changing experience is at the finish line. She remembers hers. I had uh, some bad blisters from the first day. And so the second day I went into the, you know, infirmary, whatever, and I had a nurse who was going through breast cancer treatments herself. It's just amazing when I sit there and I'm thinking, oh, this blister hurts so bad, and then she's like, yeah, I just had a mastectomy. And like, she's having chemo right now. Well, I can walk. I can, I can walk. You know, you can bandage me up and I'll do that much for you. Inspiration to keep them moving past each mile marker and finish strong in the fight against breast cancer. In Bangor, Danielle Waugh, New Center. I wore a pink. I didn't see that. Yeah, I got a pair. My pair I wore last year are gray and blue, and I'm, I'm just like I don't. I just.